Just for a moment, take a look around yourself and think about whatever you see. The device on which you are watching this video, the clock in front of you which tells you about the passage of time, the air conditioner that keeps you cool and comfortable, the window through which you can see the outside, the pen, the paper and anything else on your desk. Take some time and think about them. And with no doubt you'll see that each of these things was designed for a special purpose. No one would say that it's a matter of chance or coincidence that everything is where it should be. For example, who would say that by merely chance your house key was exactly formed to fit your door's lock, or it by chance happened to be in your pocket? No one would claim that the air conditioner is formed by chance to make you feel comfortable. Even this video that you're watching is not here by chance. If you only think about the air conditioning unit, it's made of three major parts. The compressor, the condenser and the evaporator. It uses chemicals that convert from gas to liquid and back again quickly. A very simple system that facilitates the mechanism of cooling. Everything about it, the size, the shape and the intended function of that AC shows the evidence of deliberate design. And there's also a reason why this AC is not on a street instead of being in your room. It would be nonsense if someone tells you that this is not a product of design, rather it's something existing by chance. Now what about the human beings, the trees, the earth, the sun and the moon, the galaxies and whatever you see in nature, animate and inanimate? They are in reality too wonderful and complex to be compared with the man-made items or ever to be ascribed to the operations of chance. Each one is an example of a conscious creation requiring consummate intelligence and skill, and they are far more impossible than a man-made product to be created as a result of chance. But the evolutionists believe that something known as chance has shaped everything through a total sum of millions of consecutive coincidences. They claim that chance has shaped everyone's brain, cognitive ability, judgment, memory and countless other human characteristics for hundreds of thousands of years. According to them, time is the only thing that chance needs in order to handle those extraordinary coincidences. They think that if there's enough time, chance can transform the inert and unconscious atoms into conscious being like human with amazing intelligence. Now wait for a moment. What if there was no time? I mean, for chance in order to work, there's a need of time. And if there was no time, chance wouldn't work. It's a broadly accepted theory that the origin of our universe is the Big Bang, as a result of which the space, time and matter came into existence. That means before the Big Bang, there was no time. And therefore, chance couldn't work in order to bring everything into existence. Or better to say, there was no chance at all. So, what caused the Big Bang? Or what was the conscious being that brought everything into existence? Since chance can't be the answer, only one option remains. The Creator. Now the question is, how do we define that Creator? We Muslims according to Quran say that the Creator is one and only. He is independent of anything and He has created everything, meaning time, space and matter. He's a self-existing necessary being who doesn't need anything in order to exist. And he is the uncaused cause for everything in the existence. The beauty and complexity of universe require a conscious being who is wise and eternal and independent of anything. So take your pick, chance or the creator. 